If you enjoy this video, consider supporting us on Patreon for just $5 a month. Click on the card in the upper right hand corner for more information. Okay, so since the last clip you saw, I've gone through a lot of updates. Um, I've gotten a new computer. You can click on my video about that in the upper right hand corner right now. And um, we shouldn't run into any video recording issues now. Um, it's all smooth on my new computer. We're gonna take a look now at the revisions that he's sending me, which is this PDF right here. So I wanna take a look. So this is what looks to be a concept with the circle, which I actually quite like that. The typography, I think, is a little too heavy. Um, I prefer my type a little bit more spaced out and a little bit thinner. And we got these concepts, which is like uh, color concepts. I quite like that. Really cool record. And the vertical type is really nice. One of the biggest barriers here is trying to get over any preconceptions that I have about the logo um, because I've been working on this logo on my own for maybe like 10 years now so it's kind of difficult to uh, flush any preconceptions or preconceived ideas that I had about the logo um, before this I'm trying to take what he did at face value I really like this a lot actually that's really clean the text over it looks really really sick there it is in pink, the Julian Gray Media Pink. I don't know that I prefer this to the one he sent before. The one he sent before was the guy um, in positive space without the negative circle. Um, but I do like the guy. I think the guy is going to work really well. Uh, and the typography, I think we could probably uh, slim a little bit, make it a little bit more minimalistic. And maybe center focused instead of left leaning or right leaning. But I told him to exercise his creative vision as far as whatever he got from my music. And I kind of see it. I see how my music can convey this almost. It looks bold, but it doesn't. Um, it's minimal. There's a lot of things I really like about it. This in particular is really cool. And the circle could be a variant for like for shirts and stuff like as seen here. I really like these. But I don't know that I want to make the full logo the circle. So we're going to pass these notes back to Andy and then um, we will continue from there. Right. Uh, I will share my screen to show you what I've, uh, what I've been up to. And then welcome to Ooh. the big board of Julian Gray. Um, I believe the design that was kind of uh, the original design I sent to you was this guy here. Yeah, I, that was in the previous, yeah. So that one there, because when you look at it now, after I've done a few attachments, like, I think the leg does look a bit long and stuff, so I yeah. think, like, when you suggested to kind of, like, fix up a bit, that was a good idea, literally, just, so that's kind of it more leveled out. Right, that was my so, input, I think. So then I so I was trying out some, um, some other things. So this is kind of like a slight modification where I've leveled out the... So yeah, we've leveled got, out the angles um, of it, I see. Yeah, so it's kind of a bit more kind of like straight and right. uh, connected. But then I also did this is a slight variation. So this guy here, yeah. Uh, if you if you can kind of like see there, it's a bit more kind of fills out the space a bit more, which I thought right. maybe for the whole circle, depending on what kind of look you're going for, if it wants to be a bit more filled out. Doing that root, and also. Um, I was looking around and I found a better font that looks uh, nice, like a bit thinner. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know how kind of like thin you were, uh, you were wanting it, but if like paired next to the, yeah, so it's still it kind of like, it retains the, um, it still pairs nicely with the symbol. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, yeah, obviously is then a th a thinner than the original. And then also as well, just the, the it's a bit more kind of like random instead of being almost like cut into on the previous one there. Right. Is yeah. There any kind of, I do any prefer kind of that one on the right. The, mm -hmm. um, the more it's almost minimalistic, uh, very mm -hmm. thin and, and kind of, I don't know, it breathes more as far as the guy goes. Um, they're all, they're all quite good. I do like the alignment of the, 
the angles more than the knot. I like how you <laughs> adjusted that leg so that the they kind of um, line up better than in the original one you sent me. Any other any other things that you can think of that maybe you could be cool? Do you reckon is that are you happy with are you happy with that? I'm liking it a lot. Have you tried a center line where you'd have the the circle above? I haven't, but I can try it right now. Because obviously, like, we can have different configurations for the logo, and then yeah. I can send you, like, yeah, a load yeah. of them. As far as, like, the symbol goes and the, the, the text, I think that's solid. Mm -hmm. I think just experiment with different alignments and placements of the two relative to each other. And I also quite like the ones where you have him out of the circle, like in almost positive space instead of the negative of the circle. Well, I, I like the circle one, but do you think there could be multiple versions, one negative, one positive? Yeah. So we can try some stuff. I do think, I do personally think probably from like looking at it, that could definitely, that could definitely work. Um, but maybe some. Actually, you know what? Now, now seeing it in the, now seeing it in the flesh. That that could, <laughs> that could be that could be doable. Because I think beforehand I was thinking that the weight imbalance was a bit. Weight imbalance is like, kind of strange, but yeah. Because um, I think obviously you want you want the like the text and the uh, the mark to kind of uh complement each other yeah so, yeah they want to be so similar that, right hmm. um i do think then if we if i just use like an actual live um version of the text just to kind of like show you but like even just kind of i feel like if it's outside like thickening it up just like even a little bit like this would probably help yeah um help it a bit more but then obviously we can keep it nice and yeah thin yeah inside because i think i think the yeah. circular one is the like the the money shot if you will it's the the yeah, yeah. the main one but the other one can mm -hmm. be used for other stuff like if i need to put on a, a flyer or something that's needs to scale smaller i don't know that the circle mm -hmm. would scale as well what well, so say okay say for example if we did a bit more explosion with the the guy over here the positive guy what kind of what kind of stuff would you do you have would you have in mind for that kind of stuff i really love the circle it just has to work in positive yeah, two, so is. that if I if I'm on a different one where I need a positive space, mm -hmm. it work, you know. So I mean, this works really well on black and white, but yeah. like that negative space shape thing won't be conveyed on every color. I think. Um, I'm just thinking about it in the perspective of like, if it's at 15 point font. And mm. it's over multicolors, like a starry background, for example. I think I think the two versions we've got here definitely work because they are essentially yeah. the same figure. But I think I think definitely the the one in the circle is really would be really good for like larger. Yeah, hundred percent larger things. But I could I could see that on like a massive like poster or something like. I just don't think the negative space conveys the same when it's over, like, a very stylized background. Yeah, for sure. Because then it gets kind of, like, lost because it's, like, stylized right. stuff on more Because the stuff. negative space is what's required to make the image, where yeah, something like that is very defined, like text. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, like, exactly what you're doing now, where it's, where it's like, the two are relatively the same size, um, mm -hmm. and... It, we just use a, a similar font for each or similar text for each i could see i could definitely see though the the circle one being used more with the font and then the lower one being used more as um a sort of just a kind of like a little icon or something mm -hmm. if it's being if it's on like a super colorful um yeah thing actually we can do a nice little test and put the uh the other guy then in the other corner just see how they kind of like both work in that sort of that spatial see how the way. one on the right kind of thing it works better yeah i think i think it does definitely like i think it pops out a bit more because mm -hmm. the negative space reliance is is cool for mm -hmm. bigger things but it's not for for when it's tiny that's why i'm saying like one of each would probably be best because then i could use 
it's the same mark essentially it's just the yeah, circle no, yeah. works for some applications and then the other one for small yeah so same for like yeah for like smaller ones you could use just the positive and then the bigger one you could use exactly the negative so if you want to make up some mock-ups of like essentially the exact yeah. same mark one in negative and one in positive that would be um ideal can do like that works great big and then the little one works, works really well for small one. or yeah the thing i think it's yeah even in that kind of size it's still recognizable and mm -hmm. noticeable right where the circle one kind of gets lost at yeah sort of 10 point or whatever yeah that looks again cool. it's all about kind of like getting a simplicity and kind of like simplifying it down to like its basic form uh -huh. well yeah if you want to make a, a final pdf i think and I, I think the mark is done i think it's just a matter of making a version in positive and negative um yeah. shouldn't be too difficult and then uh the text off to the the right and then maybe some um with the text aligned underneath in the center mm -hmm. and that's pretty much it sounds good really cool it actually looks really good on that pink and blue thing <laughs> it does on it i was, I was right. just thinking that i was like Ooh. all right um i guess i'll talk to you soon and and i think after that we'll be pretty much finished so we will be maybe another call in like a week or so so here's the kind of like the final uh pieces of it with um so obviously the word mark at the top right that can be used for places like obviously like like say like festivals or like mm -hmm. like smaller like tour things Mm -hmm. um, and then just like on the bottom there on the left, obviously like the guy that can be used in like the smaller situations if you need to be more pronounced and then right. the circle man who can be like kind of used more for bigger posters and things like that. Exactly, yeah. So like, for example, this guy here, quite a, quite a low res image, but, uh, yeah. oh no, there we go. But oh, so good. just like a basic, just, like a basic thing, very just sort of minimal kind of design there but like i think that definitely that definitely works well as a as something because it almost it almost resembles like a little emblem when you're looking at it from there right which is which is quite nice and then obviously i don't know if you can see then yeah there at the top there's a sort of like a little version of the guy kind of like uh, as like a tag a <laughs> yeah so yeah. it kind of it shows that it yeah that it is working quite well as a smaller as a smaller guy as well right right uh, but then I've got so I made these mock-ups. I just found some like poster things like for festivals online and stuff. And so I've I've subtly uh, I've subtly uh, kind of put your put, put the logo into <laughs> the different places. Worked them in there. Which, Man, I didn't I mean, know I, I was billed that high. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. headlining Reading, my guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, so. Great. Yeah. So then, because that's that's all that's all, because um, then it really does seem like nice and integrated and stuff, and I think it kind of like works. Because that's the thing, like if like it's got to kind of like work amongst the other sort of logos and stuff out there. That's right. quite that's quite important. It works in context, um, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, so yeah, that's sort of used there, and then I saw I made a little mock-up like tour poster thingy here. Oh, with that, that looks cool sick. From last time, yeah. which like, so you can see like the use of like the big, the big logo. <laughs> and I, I found I found some I found some of your uh, tour dates online, so I. Oh, nice one. I do my research. Oh, it's real. <laughs> yeah. There we go. But yeah, so that's kind of those are that's the sort of uh, that's the sort of vibe. If there's any, is that is that looking good to you, do you reckon? Absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's like the whole so the vibe I was going for for sure. That is that is great to hear. That's the that's the best thing I could hear in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if you just went, hmm, I've had some time to think about it and No. <laughs> I would sure I would now. use that I would use that poster markup like as an actual poster. Like mm. so much and the good thing like. is as well, the uh, the picture behind it is royalty free, so Hey, I can use it. <laughs> you fully could. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, so that's kind of just in the smaller, so obviously like, mm -hmm. yeah. So there's, yeah, like three little variations, but then obviously all of them are still right. consistent with each other. <laughs> that looks yeah. brilliant, dude. 
Just so it's great to hear. I think it. I think it looks done. I think I could use that as it is. To be honest, brilliant. But I can't. I can't. I can't wait to see this. Um, like the LED like uh, yeah. panels and stuff like yeah. that. I that used bit, like bit, the beta weird. version of the circle one, um, mm. it, on a panel a few weeks ago. I think I have I have, oh. I have a few like Snapchat videos of that, but I don't have like oh, nice. proper photography of it. Um, but I'll send those, and I might put them on the screen or something. I don't know. Oh yeah. But I'll send those oh, yeah. your way. You can see. That'd be quite. That'd be great to see. But then when we yeah, get so it finalized, then I can surely use this. You know. There we go. Exactly. For everything. And then you've got you, you've got a choice between three variations to use there. <laughs> so awesome. I so I will give you. I'll give you these three. I'll I'll make a couple more different kind of like. If you need a tighter wording one, I'll kind of just make a couple variations of right. the, uh, the one just for you to use. And I'll include these these symbols as well. Um, can you include just then, the word as well? Just the word mark? Yeah, I, yeah, I can do that indeed. Okay. And then I believe I'll look back and I'll just double check that it is the same um, font that I was using um, beforehand. And then I'll like I'll just kind of give you the right uh, font file for that, or the typeface file. Even. Right, the spec for the which in-house font it would be now, because yeah, I have to keep that in mind. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think it was a font where they were giving um, just because I was trying to test it. <laughs> I got the because there are a few people that they sort of do like demo weights and stuff. So they'll there's like a font that you normally get a license for. Right. But then uh, they'll give out maybe like two free ones just so you can kind of like test out and stuff. So yeah, I think I have just no as a problem kind of, buying the license for it. If, yeah, if I was just yeah, I was just saying that I think that is it is a licensed. Um, so if you would want to mess around with the weights and stuff yourself, um, right? If there is any situation where you need it, then yeah, just a heads up. There may be a bit of a <laughs> a fee on the font end. That's okay. Yeah, and I mean, it, paying for a good font is fine by me. That is very. That At is least very it's true. not like a hand drawn glyph that there's no way I can recreate. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> that would not have uh, that would not have been the best. That's like something I really don't like in logo design is like I mean it looks good for things like script but when you yeah. hand do hand do sans serif fonts it's mm. kind of like unnecessary yeah it's like the handwritten kind of look to it I think yeah it's a very it's a very specific like right so yeah you, you like it's only used can only really be used in context like in very specific situations I guess yeah which is very rarely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think I think you you nailed it, and it's it's good to kind of see this because I've been I've been trying to you know get to this point <laughs> in myself yeah. as a designer for like several years, but it's because you have that outside look at it. I think you were yeah. able to interpret what I was envisioning better than I could even. Well, that's well, that's really good to hear. Yeah, I'm glad that. I'm glad that we've got we've got something that's absolutely suited to the job, and I'm sure and I'm sure as well now because it's I'm like you being away um, like you being away for a, uh, a few weeks as well. Mm -hmm. Coming back, if you're still happy and good with the logo, then longevity-wise, and that's a really good sign. Right. It's not like a gut reaction. It's actually, yeah, exactly. I'm pleased with it. Awesome, dude. Well, I think that's finalized uh looks great it's been really interesting this journey of working on uh having someone else work on my logo and i, I hope it's insightful yeah. to the people watching this video as far as like the process goes it, it was a great thing like i think it's really cool to document all this stuff because yeah absolutely For like showing like a real the real process of it all because right especially because a lot of a lot of people will kind of describe the process on how they normally do it but not a lot of people I think I've seen online and stuff sort of have seen the process of an actual logo. Right. Which I think get developed from both perspectives too. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a lot of like screen capping drawing a logo, but there's not a lot of mm. like back and forth. Yeah, no, definitely. I think the discussion is like um, within this is really is really good to kind of finding out kind of like because that's the thing i think what a lot of people 
should know about like logo design and things like that is that it's a very a lot of people will just straight away go to the sketch like and go to the drawing board and start sketching out things but a lot of it's to do with your research and the planning beforehand and talking <laughs> and the less sketching you need to do the better the better because right. the less sketching you do the more you should like, the more you know about what what is needed so yeah. I think I think just having the whole conversation aspect of this video is definitely something that will hopefully resonate with the, right. the designers watching. And the importance of building like a um, a strategy around something more than just a good mark, and yeah, it, you know, establishing a I guess theory to the mark more than just a, a cool logo because there's a lot of yeah exactly yeah a lot of designers that just make a cool mark that doesn't mean anything to the brand. Um, versus mm. this where we've established why we did everything or you yeah. did everything <laughs> Is that <laughs> <And> my <laughs> input on my input on why I enjoy it yeah exactly well I mean because at the end of the day a good a good a good logo I think it was uh, Sagi Haviv on the the podcast that he did with uh, the future YouTube channel mm. where he was saying that a good logo is simple meaningful and relevant Right, but and I definitely and I definitely think that that's yeah, those are definitely things to factor in because obviously, like, I wouldn't have just made a random symbol and then been like, there you go, and it wouldn't have really have had any meaning or relevancy to what we were trying to accomplish. It's got that kind of right, and it's also again like it's simple but not so simple that it's nothing. It's got like meaning behind it's it. Function. It's yeah, yeah. It's recognizable as right. that's the Julian Gray logo. Like, yeah. That's what I dig about it. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's that's good that I've uh, that's a good that's good that I've accomplished my mission then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've done it. All right. Well, thanks, Andy, for the, the whole the whole trip. Actually, it's really cool. No worries. It was my pleasure. I'm giving you a high five. Hell yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me switch off my screen share. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Hold on. Just... Uh, so that is essentially the end of the story. Um, that's how me and Andy Barnard came up with my brand new logo. I hope you guys enjoyed the process and found it insightful. And I hope you learned something about working with graphic designers. And maybe if you're rebranding your own musical project, you can utilize some of the ideas and you know techniques we've you've gone through in these these few videos um, when you're when you're handling your own rebrand. So I'm Julian of Julian Gray Media, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.